What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Writing Tip Tuesday. Writing Tip Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. We're going to change it up. Now it's going to be Writing Tip Wednesday. This week only. Maybe next week, too. Today I have three tips for you for creating more compelling characters. Step one, show, don't tell. I'm sure you've heard it before, but don't show everything at once. What do I mean by this slightly confusing statement? Show us what causes your characters to make the decisions that they are making. This helps the audience defend all the decisions made by your character. Great example of this is the opening to the movie, Kill Bill, Volume One by Quentin Tarantino. Roll it, Tom. <laughs> Do you find me sadistic? You know, I'll bet I could fry an egg on your head right now if I wanted to. No, kiddo. I'd like to believe you're aware enough, even now, to know that there's Nothing sadistic in my actions. Or maybe towards those other jokers. <laughs> but not you. No, kiddo. At this moment, this is me and my most masochistic. Bill? It's your baby. This scene not only shows us the event that causes the bride to seek revenge, allowing the audience to defend her decisions, but this scene gets us interested in the bride and Bill, which is step two, get us interested. What did we learn from that last scene? We learned Bill wants the bride dead. We learned Bill is her former lover. We learned Bill doesn't know the baby is his. And what are some questions asked? Who is Bill? That's a big question. We never even see this guy on screen. Whose baby did Bill? think this was. If it wasn't his baby, whose baby was it? Why did the bride leave Bill? Big question. This one seems a little obvious, but why does Bill want her dead? And I think the answer is, of course, you know, there's another lover or whatnot, but we're not sure yet. That's just an assumption that we make at this point. We're three minutes into this movie and we're already invested into two characters, and one of which we haven't even seen on screen yet. <sighs> Step three. That's six. Step three, the lingo. Now we talked about this step in our last video, which is linked up here. Each character should have their own unique voice, but not just to have a unique voice. Follow me? The voice of your character needs to relate to that character. Who is this character? Where have they been? What kind of other characters do they associate with? What is their temperament? Et cetera, et cetera. For this example, let's take a look at a scene from Pretty Woman. Roll it, Tom. You all right? I'm fine. Fine. Oh, that's good. Seven fines since we left the match. Could I have another word, please? Asshole. There's a word. I think I like fine better. You know what? Just tell me one thing. Why did you make me get all dressed up? Well, for one thing, the clothing was appropriate. No. What I mean is, if you were going to tell everybody I'm a hooker, why didn't you just let I me wear not, my own clothes, I okay? Not. I mean, in my own clothes, when someone like that guy Stucky comes up to me, I can handle it. I'm prepared. I'm very sorry. I'm not happy with Stucky at all for saying that or doing that. But he is my attorney. I've known him for 10 years. He thought she was some kind of an industrial spy. That guy's paranoid. What, are you my pimp now? You know, you think you can just pass me around to your friends? I'm not some little toy. Now you'll notice that the hooker is far more blunt than the millionaire. You'll notice the difference in their speech. You'll notice how one approaches an argument in a very different fashion than the other. And most importantly, you can see that these two characters come from very different worlds. And this is their world gliding. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever. More importantly, comment. Let's start a discussion. Let's talk about things. What are some of your favorite characters? Do you have some requests for more of these writing videos? Down below in the comments. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching. Now go write some cool characters. Tell me all about them. Peace.